What the heck? I probably shouldn't be looking at other videos while, you know, right before starting a stream, but... Holy crap, how is this even possible? It's like the, this fight is difficult enough where I had issues when I was trying it out yesterday and I'm looking at this and it's like Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, Lucilius AFK Strategy. How are you supposed to do that AFK? I guess I'll have to look at the video later. But it's... I mean, is it really AFK if you have three other people fighting for you? Or is this fully AFK because you have, a, have your own team do this? I'm not entirely sure. But if it's your team, like, basically pulling your weight, that's... What the heck, dude? <laughs> Also, is it really AFK if uh, if we're still controlling the character and dodging? Okay, so it looks like it's their own team. But is it really still AFK if you're controlling the character and you're dodging and it looks like they're attacking also at the same time? I wouldn't call that AFK, to be honest. It's, um... No. No. I'm still gonna have to look at that later because it it sounds that the title is clickbait, but I'm pretty sure you can't do that fight AFK. It's way too difficult. Or well, I was just really, really bad. I, I I feel like when I did the when I did my few Lucifer fights yesterday. I may have pissed some people off by dying <laughs> a lot. Uh, which, if they ever find this, I'm sorry. I was still learning the fight. You can't get mad at me for that. It's not like you guys knew how to do the fight right away. If you did, well, okay, fine. I'm, I'm not that good. I'll admit that. Jeez. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, anyway, happy Monday. <laughs> happy Monday, get some sleep. If you haven't got any sleep yet, what are you doing up so late? Well, I guess if you're from Asia, um, this is about the same time as usual that we did things before... When was that? Before Daylight Savings. However, the only reason why I'm starting at this time now after daylight savings is because this uh, there was a few there were a few more reviews that were going to be added around this time and so yes that's basically that's basically it that's basically it but yeah I, I wasn't sure if I was going to be streaming at all today anyway it was more like I needed to catch up on some things, do some thumbnails, maybe do a, a recording or and such. And I guess I actually just have a weekend. Because yesterday all I did was sleep. I basically slept pretty much most of the morning, ate some breakfast. And then I fell asleep a couple hours later and didn't wake up until about... 5 p.m. And I think I dozed off around 1 p.m. Which, I don't know. For some people, that might not sound too bad. But if it's your weekend and you're all you're doing is sleeping all day, it feels kind of bad. At least for me, it feels kind of bad. So it's like, yeah, I, I kind of need a day for myself that's just not sleeping. And that day would happen. Um, but I also kind of want to stream a little bit, but maybe not in the morning. Maybe I would have done it later in the evening. But instead, we're doing it right now. Uh, we're doing some kanji reviews, because it seems like we have a decent amount of kanji to, to review. 
So let me just move over to the other screen so I can show you that, which is this one. Yeah, so we have uh, about 67 reviews. Usually when I've done this before, we've done about 100 plus. But I felt like, oh, you know, 50, 60, probably a decent amount to, to do a stream on. So let's, let's go and do that. Also, level 13 right now, um, which I got how long ago? I got to level 13 last Sunday and then it was two and two weeks before that I was at level 12 or, or at least got level 12 which is a much slower pace than I've been doing ever since they introduced uh, the new the new system for for the lessons before that, we just kind of dump all of this at once. And I was perfectly fine with that. Maybe a tad bit overwhelmed. Maybe a tad bit overwhelmed, but it wasn't too terrible. Uh, but now we'll wear a slower pace. And I think it might take twice as long to get to where I need to be. I mean, I can always... I can always, like, select all and learn everything. But I'm gonna... I'll just stick to the program, see how it works. And so far, it doesn't feel overwhelming, though I'm, if there's an option to increase it from 15 to 20, I might do that. 20 is a slightly better pace. But yeah, we're making decent progress as far as our kanji is concerned. Um, there's definitely a few that I still haven't gotten a grasp on uh, that are from way, way long ago, like how to spell uh, Yotsu. Anything with an OU always gets me. Just because it's like, when do you do it? And then there are multiple ways to spell eight in Japanese, depending on what it is. Always screws me up. Anyway, we got 67 reviews here. Uh, a mix of level 13 kanji and below. Supposedly level 13 is when things start... No, well, level 10 is when it got... To, no, 10 was still pleasant, it seems. 11 is when it starts to get painful, and it kind of sort of is, but it's not too bad. However, the last couple of levels had some really, really weird... Hanji that doesn't really make sense if you put the radicals together, and even if you did put the radicals together. Even, even, even if you did ignore that. Just by itself doesn't seem to make sense. Okay, well. Let's see. So we got finger, but we're pointing at someone, so I guess to point? No, not to point. And it's not to finger either. Um to a point is something else. I guess that I guess it's just to point, because you're you're using your finger. To point, yeah. To point. I think this one is Mukashi. No, no, not Mukashi. But it kind of looks like Mukashi. I think this is together? Question mark, together? No, was it Mukashi? It was, it was. Visually similar kanji. Ah, this one. It's like if you see the sun under this fence looking thing then it becomes mukashi because it means it's long ago apparently i don't know what the official name for this radical is but this the sun underneath it says long ago shoka shoka extinguish and change means something very specific which you would probably never guess um to this was running so this is so so to compete so to compete we got two brother two older brothers over here competing i'm not sure what the stand is above them but apparently there's a competition of sorts uh b 
beforehand, but how do you what, beforehand? I guess it, let's start with that. Beforehand. But mm, I forgot what the spelling was for this. It was a really weird, complicated one. Run. Araso. Araso and there's Kiso, both meaning to compete, but I think the, I guess it's a little bit different. Araso. No? Is this Kiso? Is this Kiso? What's the what's the other one? To be in conflict. Oh, to be in conflict is Araso. I'm not sure how this means easy, but we'll go easy. Mukashi, Mukashi, long ago. Ken Q. Ken Q. Ken as in to sharpen. Q as in research. But this really doesn't tell me research. I just know the pronunciation from the 9 at the bottom. Because if you know 9, you know that's Q. But 9, nine skies uh, doesn't really mean much of anything to me. Nine skies, nine clouds, but somehow that means research. And, uh, yeah, by itself means research, I guess. And then you have Ken Q sharpen the research investigation. No idea. Haku White. Somehow I've been missing this one recently. Maybe because I haven't seen it in a while. Uh... I, th I think it is to collect, so Atsu, Atsumaru, Atsumaru, which, yeah, I think Atsu is just the, the pronunciation for the kanji when you're using it as a verb, as a verb. So this is research or investigation, so uh, I'm going to say research, looks like they accepted it. Investigation, research, study, along those lines, seems to be still valid. Yeah, seems to be valid. Okay. Arakajime. Arakajime. Now... This one is weird because most of the time when you just when you get just one kanji for for any kanji you usually have anywhere between one to three syllables uh not syllables is it syllables yeah one to three syllables for any one kanji however this one has four which throws me off quite a lot, because that's a lot to remember for just one character that doesn't really seem to mean much of anything. You have the ma up top, and then you have the street-like thing at the bottom. Yeah. The ma up top, the street at the bottom, and the it's a little bit morphed, but somehow beef, it... This becomes Ar Arakajime, and I guess that's just a history thing. Beforehand and advanced previously ahead of time. Yeah, it just seems to be like a history thing as far as the pronunciation goes. And it's like, how how do you remember that? You just kind of <laughs> you, you you just you just kind of wing it. You just kind of wing it. That's kind of how it, that one is. To collect, to gather, I guess to gather is. Better. However, there's very there's uh, several to co to come together to gather to be collected. If you say to collect, it doesn't count it, but because this is like clumping, I guess it's a it's a gathering rather than a collecting. The kanji itself means co to collect, but if you look at the other kanji. If you look at the other words that the kanji is associated with, there's collecting money, um, shukin, concentration, shuchu, so collecting in the center, collecting in the middle, so you're just collecting it within yourself or, or within something. Atsumeru, to collect something. And then there's also atsumaru, 
Atsumeru, Atsumaru, very easy to confuse. But one means to collect and one means to to gather. And I guess that's just a memorization kind of thing. It's like which one's which. I don't know how you separate that in, in your head, but um just know those those are separate apparently as far as in meaning. But at least the pronunciation is the same whenever you say to gather or to concentrate to gather meaning atsu to collect meaning shu or is it shu shu i think it's shu anyway that's the that's basically how i got in that shoka digestion apparently digestion now i'm not exactly sure what the nuance is with extinguish when i think extinguish is like going out uh not going out as in like thinking about extinguish a fire in in that sense it kind of looks like you're extinguishing a fire here but except there's no fire except that maybe the fire here isn't that that um the middle part then you got water droplets everywhere but you're kind of like extinguishing the moon rather than extinguishing the sun which Okay, well, whatever, whatever. Uh, but extinguish and change, apparently it's digestion, shokka. Digestive gas, shok, shokka gasu. Shokka, shokka saku, sakyo, digestion. Indigestion, shokka furyo. Bad digestion, I guess. Stimulate your digestion. Stuff like that. Uh, let's see. To point, but what is the Japanese? I think this is... Not Kesu. Kesu is something else. This one is... Mm. Not dasu, not yasu. Freaking homonym, uh, homo homophones. There's way too many homophones, and you gotta figure out which one is which. Uh, to point. Nasu? No, not Nasu. Not Dasu. I don't know if I would... Mm, what is it? 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 I'm gonna guess... I'm gonna guess Dasu. It's probably wrong, but I'm gonna guess Dasu. Wait, where's the D? Where's the D? Where's the D? There's it. Dasu. Where was it? Sasu. Sasu. Ah, Sasu, Sasu. Sasu. Give me. Sasu. What's one of the other pronunciations for this? She, you be sa. So sasu, sasu. Okay, well this one is kiso. Kiso for to compete. Mukashi long ago. Okay, so this one's a little bit complicated, but let's do this one first really quick. Sen, uh, say, 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 for this complicated looking thing with three different radicals put together. 
But the only radical that really makes a difference as far as pronunciation is this thing at the bottom, the the correct radical, say. The say radical, and then re for the reason. Which has been a while since we've seen that. So we have the kanji for to kill over here. Uh, but if you, I guess, I guess if you've um, listened to enough Japanese and certain certain anime, you get kuros. It's a uh, actually korosu, korosu. I keep on thinking it's kurosu, but it's korosu, korosu, korosu. Koros. I think this one is Finnish, or this is Ryo. It's been a while. Sasu, to point. Satsuji, satsujin, uh, murder. I guess there's also a Satsu guy. If you've uh, if you ever seen Detroit Metal City. Um, there's a really, re really, uh, what I wouldn't say famous, but really, um, <laughs> really memorable song uh, as far as the de death metal scene in. Well, I mean, it's all about death metal, but Satsugai, Satsugai, and then there's Satsujin. I get. I I would say this in this one in general would be the murderer, but they want murder here uh, specifically. Yeah, Satsujin Sha, but I mean, this thing thinks uh, you need a Sha at the end, but I don't think you necessarily need to. I guess if you want to be specific, if you want to be specific to kill. And this is one of the new radicals, I guess, uh, that that uh, that we've gotten recently for level thirteen. And the only re the only way you really can figure this out as far as to kill is it's composed of four radicals neatly tightly packed in a square and if you don't remember anything else from this you have the x and you have this funky little pie thing on top of a stool which apparently you can think of it as a weapon there's no person here but the x is like okay um this one's getting this one's getting knocked off or something Maybe, maybe. I still don't. I still don't know how they come up with these. I actually was looking at. I was actually trying to research um, how Japanese kanji or Chinese kanji, because that's where it started. I was I was researching how kanji came to be, not in Japan but in China, because everything that all the kanji were was basically imported from China. And apparently it, be it started out as cracks or on a tortoise shell. Even if they were cracks on a tortoise shell, how would you understand it came to mean one thing or the other? It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense if you if you think about it. You you would have thought they would have um, started off with pictograms or or some such, but they never did. There's very few kanji that actually make sense when you when you try to think on what it looks like uh, versus what it's supposed to mean. And maybe some of those were standardized along the way, but it's weird. Very weird. I say that, and then you get this also, um, what did it cost? You also get the Roman alphabet, which came from, I guess, Greek also, but that was more like phonetics than rather than pictorial. Hey Dark, welcome. Let me see what you what you said here. Can't read all of that. Love you as a friend. 
Is that really what you wanted to say? Is that really what you wanted to say? Well, I am fine. How are you? Hope you're doing well. We're doing some kanji... Kanji review slash... I guess just... I don't know how I, how I would teach this, but I'm trying to explain how I remember this as I... As I am learning it. So... I don't know. Maybe... If you've seen any of these before, maybe you can... Maybe you can tell me how you would learn it, or how you... How you would know how, uh, how to remember this, because... A lot of times it's just, I mean, it's basically 100% memorization and just trying to figure out, okay, this kind of means this, this kind of means that. And a lot of times when people learn kanji, they don't learn the the individual parts of the kanji. Like they don't know, they don't really learn what this part means by itself. They don't me learn what this other part means by itself, but it's helpful when you're learning rather than trying to figure it out later yeah you can see a lot of words with similar kanji and they kind of mean something similar like above ground and below ground has the kanji for earth in it but if you didn't know that was earth how would you know what what that would mean but i guess you know you just kind of get it what was this one again this is i think this is Wa? Wa... Wa dai? But the, I think that in this particular case, we have a kanji for subject topic over here, and we're talking about it, so that we're talking about a topic. That's what, that's what this is. Topic. Jisatsu. Self. Kill. Which is kind of, um... Which is not the first time we've seen suicide as far as kanji is concerned, but there are, there's apparently two kinds of suicide in in the kanji world here. You have actual killing self for just in general, jisatsu, and there's another one called, what was that? Ki, kimeru or something, I forgot already. But there, there's another there's another one, and apparently that's more like the the kind of suicide that samurai used to do, like to preserve their honor and stuff like that. That doesn't really happen anymore. Thankfully, it doesn't happen anymore. So okay, so we have arrange and reason. It just really means arrangement arrangement there's a reason why we arrange things the way they do and you just kind of you just kind of have to look at this neat little box and they're arranged in a specific way so is a bunch of other kanji but this it's a nice uh, it's a nice sort of box here now this one uh, what, what's the what's the pronunciation wa wa dai i think it's wa dai okay i wasn't sure this one is topic. You can kind of see some something standing on a podium or or something talking about this little thing up here. You can call that like the topic, the die topic. And I can just keep forgetting the pronunciation of the other one. I think it's just wa. Talk for wa. Yeah, wa hanashi hana. That's how, that's the talk one. Okay, so this one is together, together. Just kind of see two, you can't really see it by itself here, but there's like two radicals kind of fused, so they're kind of fused together. And depending on what's down here at the bottom, it either means actually together or it means something else like on go. In this case, they're just, they're just together. They're just together. Satsu Jin. Satsujin. And the tricky part here is trying to figure out which one do you use for person? Do you use Jin or do you use Nin? And I'm still actually not quite sure when you use Jin and when you use Nin. 
And if we look at the composition over here, and look at all the words, holy crap, there's so many words with the person kanji. And there's probably one of the first few, there's one of the kanjis that you would learn and probably memorize because it comes up so many times. But if you're talking about a person specifically, I guess Jin is what you use. However, if you're talking about their occupation or um, I guess what they are, I guess you use Nin. However, as I say that, there's also Shijin down here for poet. Now, that's not necessarily an occupation. I guess it's a function. I don't know. But we also have Akunin, a bad person. I guess it's a descriptor of what they are for Nin, but I don't know. Jin, Nin. Someone tell me how to sort the two out because I'm confusing myself now and I really shouldn't be trying to explain it if I'm not too sure. Together, Kyo. Yo. Uh, okay, so this one's a new one. So, supposedly this radical on the left is soul. And we have blue here also. So we have a blue soul, but it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean blue soul. It means what does it mean? Um, this is... Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I remember now. It doesn't make sense off the top of my head, but I think this means apologize. It does not mean apologize. What does it mean? I think apologize was a different one. Feeling, emotion. Right. You're feeling blue. You have a blue soul. You have, you have blue emotions. Okay, you're feeling sad. Well, since I already saw that, uh, what's the pronunciation for this one? Uh, jo? Jo. Blue Jo. Blue Jo. Kyo. Uh, kyo. Yu. Suru. To share. To share. So together. Have. If you, t if you have it together, you share it. So. And then you have Suru here. It just means to do. So you share it. To share. Finish. One of the very first kanji that we learn, and I still haven't gotten it down. Jisatsu. Jisatsu. I th oh yeah, that reminds me. There is also a um, a chill arts game, also called Jisatsu. But what is the the kanji for it? Let me see. Jisatsu. It is the same kanji. It is literally the the same exact kanji. Let me see. Right there. Jisatsu. A little bit more stylized. Actually, no, it's the different it's a different kanji. Wait, excuse me. Why is this kanji different from this other other one? But they have the pronu same pronunciation. I'm guessing it doesn't mean the same thing if it's different kanji. First part's the same because it's self, but why is it why is the second part different? I don't think I've seen that yet. Apparently, it may not mean what I think it means. It might mean something else. Hmm. Hodai. Ah, this is a this is a fun one to try to remember when you're on a trip. All you can. When we get back to it, I'll I'll explain it a little bit more. Uh, jokai. First time. First time. Just kind of have to remember this means first. It doesn't really invoke any images, you just have to know. Iki bound for bound for you'll he you might hear this on the train station, uh, especially if you're in the Shinkansen. 
this train is bound for something, 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 something. But you'll probably hear the English more than the, the Japanese, but it doesn't hurt to listen to the Japanese sometimes to, for the clarification, because the English sometimes uh, might miss a few things. Hodai. Hodai. So we have to release here, and we have topic here, which Hodai together, release topic, doesn't really mean anything as far as... Um, as far as us uh, as we're concerned but we got to remember there's this thing called ateji in japanese they just kind of borrow the pronunciations that are vaguely related or maybe not even related at all to get the word and this might be one of them hodai all you can eat well not necessarily all you can eat tabi hodai is all you can eat which if you're looking for a buffet you either look for a Viking meal, Viking, yeah, vi they, for some reason they call buffets in Japan Viking, Viking something, but it's really tabi hodai, uh, all you can eat, um, all you can sing, utai, Utai uh, Hodai, I don't think I've heard of that before, but you, I don't think anyone actually says that either. Because for karaoke, you have a time limit, and you can basically sing as much as you want within that time limit. So, does it really matter? There's also All You Can Drink, Nomi Hodai, um, which happens once in a while. I don't think I've actually seen it myself. But it is a thing, depending on depending on the, where you go. So tabi hodai and nomi hodai. Keep an eye on those if you ever go to restaurants in Japan. Might might be very helpful. <clears throat> What's this one? Uh, to oh I okay this is to separate so to separate. So there's the blue soul one, feeling, feeling, blue soul. Jokai. Jokai, first time. Except I misspelled it. Right. They don't want the they don't want the U. And I think uh Oh Shokai. It's not Jokai, it's Shokai. It's Shokai. Freaking A. Okay. So this one's a little bit weird. Um, let's see, what was it? Waka reru? Waka reru? So reru here, you can, you can just kind of type it out. This one, this first one, betsu. Typically it's betsu if you, if you want to say separate. However, to separate as a verb, the chain the the pronunciation goes from betsu to waka waka is also used in a different kanji like wakaru the same kanji there to understand but also means to separate but i, I guess if you want to specifically mean to separate you use this kanji in writing but if you say wakaru or wakureru Wakaredu, then it is to separate, to divide, to take two part from, to break up, and then they have a explanation over here with the the minute kanji, which is also used for a different, which also has a pronunciation waka, but in this case it's like two separate waka. Confusing, actually confusing. Public building, public building. So I don't, so this on the right side, it looks like a B. So you might think it's a building, but usually that, that radical there is used for chase or follow. However, if it helps to say it's a building, which is how I recognize this, then that's, that's perfectly fine. I don't think there's a huge issue with that. Just don't confuse it with Chase when whenever that comes up. 
what makes it a public building i guess there's this combination there's really i don't think there's anything else similar to this so that helps a little bit but why public building in particular because there's buildings are private i guess Ike. Iki? Iki. Bound for Iki. Let's see. Context. Kono basu wa Seattle, Seattle Iki desu. Seattle Iki desu. They don't have the... Ah, here we go. No, they have... Oh, oh okay. Bound New York o Iki. New York o Iki. Saitama Iki. Sendai Iki. Humble. I think this means humble. So this radical is also a kanji, so if you learn this kanji earlier, just know it's pretty much the same thing. Uh so feeling but not kimochi or something similar. This is shu show shu. No, that doesn't sound. That doesn't seem right. Jo uh... show not show show. Didn't think so. What was it? Joe. Ah, uh, Joe. 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 Speaking of Joe, this is not Joe. This is Sho. Shokai. First time. Ah, uh, Khan for public building. And it doesn't make sense by itself, but if you take a little peek, on future kanji, if you know what a uh, ryokan is, which is basically a traditional Japanese inn, this is what a ryokan is. Trip, public building, so it's basically a retreat, a resort of some sort, but not really a resort, but it is a destination for your trip, and it's accessible. So if you know ryokan, and you can recognize this in ryokan, then that's great. But also, there's a uh, Eigakan movie theater. Uh, there's also Toshikan, Toshikan, the library, museum, what does this say? Bijukan, Bijukan. Okay, so there's a kanji here I don't recognize. Bijukan, one kind of museum, and there's another kind of museum. Hakabutsukan. Hakabutsu. Why are there two different kinds of museums? I guess we'll figure that out when we when we get there. When we get there. Kyo yo suru to share. Trip. As in going on a trip, travel kind of thing. And it's kind of funky that you kind of have a guy here with a a gun going on a trip? I don't know. That's what that's the explanation they gave, and it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Crap, what were you? I've seen this one a long time ago. I think this means reason. I was gonna say center. Reflection. Ah Sun center reflection. I guess? Okay. Reflection is A. A. A reflection. Mondai. Problem. Problem. And we'll get to that in a bit. Okay, what the heck, what, what the heck is this? We have the kanji to wear, but this, this does not mean to wear. This means to arrive. Apparently the same kanji is used for both. To arrive is suku, I think. Suku. I 
Hello, Mars. Welcome. Are you trying to say Ganba? Or, let's see. Banha? Banha. Banha Nani. Banha Nani. Okay, I'm gonna try to read this before. Konba. Ah, Konbanwa. Ah, Konba. That's Ba? I, I see Ha there. Banha. Uh, ban banwa. Banwa. Banha. Ah. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't think I've ever seen anyone um, shorten it that way before. Now the now the next thing I, that you say you say is a little bit different. I don't think I've benkyo benkyo yatte benkyo yatte re ren benkyo yatte ne re re ne eh yatteru ne ah yatteru ne oh I can I can do that wait kon konma Banwa. Really? People read ha as wa for some reason sometimes and also confused. I know they re I know they pronounce it as wa in a sentence, but in short form like that, I don't I I totally would not know. I totally would not know. Now I know something new. Thank you. Uh I think this one is Ju? Ju Ju? Elongated Ju. Not a Ju. Joe. Ah, Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. Rikishi. So we have uh, strength and apparently kanji for samurai. Joe who? Joe mama. Uh, strength, apparently there's chikara, there's ryoku, which is used a lot. Riki is on a scale, but Rikishi is, when we get to it, is apparently a profession of sorts. Mondai. Mondai. Problem. This is the, the kanji for problem, apparently. And then topic, which together is still a problem. <laughs> which is still a problem. Ryo. It's a short trip. It's a short trip. Just remember Ryo. Rikishi. Sumo wrestler. Did you know a sumo wrestler is not actually called a sumo wrestler, they're called Rikishi. I do not know that. I guess if you I guess if you watch enough sumo stuff, or like a, are a sumo fan, you would know this. I have seen a little bit of sumo on Japanese TV when I was actually in Japan, and it's actually pretty interesting. Um, you wouldn't think it is. Because basically it's two guys who's just trying to knock each other out from a very very small ring however it does get really intense and i am i kind of want to like watch a, a match live it's kind of it's, it's interesting also i've seen a few people make videos of the the seating area where the they have sumo matches and it's kind of, it's kind of wide. the The seating area is pretty wide. You can and you can buy drinks and stuff like that. It's very much a spectator sport, but it's it's a different spectator sport than say wrestling or basketball or anything like that, where the crowds are kind of wild. The crowds are, you know, cheering, jeering, and whatever. Even in base, well, I guess it's also different in Japan. Even baseball in Japan is fairly, I wouldn't say subdued, but definitely more organized and respectful as far as the the fans are concerned. However, they also get some really good, good stuff as far as food and and, and drinks. So maybe there's a, maybe maybe there's something about that. I went to a yakiniku restaurant recently and accidentally had a conversation with a manager who happened to be Japanese. Nice. That's it. Is it is a yakiniku place uh, accessible or where you can actually go there pretty often? Because if you could, that that'd be pretty interesting. That'd be pretty interesting. Speak. Um, in the in the old town I I used to live in, um, there was actually a decent 
Japanese community over there, not as much as the Vietnamese or Chinese community, obviously. But you know, they had they had a few restaurants. One had a one has a really famous、um, ramen shop over there, as well as an izakaya that's kind of super expensive. Because for some reason they became associated with quality and being I don't know hipster ish, <laughs> I guess. But their but their ramen is actually pretty good, so I can't really complain too much except for the price. It's kind of ridiculous. However, there's also another izakaya in in the in the in the same town where it was run by a an a not necessarily old but definitely middle age ish plus. A、uh, Japanese couple from Osaka, and the the izakaya food over there was like very homey, very homey. It was it was kind of nice. It's kind of nice. I go there whenever I can, but they're also always full. They're almost always full, except especially in the evenings and the weekends. So it's really really difficult to get into, but highly recommended. If you want that specific, if you're ever in Austin, Texas,、uh, let me know, because apparently Austin, Texas has some really, really nice Japanese spots. Maybe not as much as California or New York, but definitely before I left,、um, they built up quite a bit in the in the years I was there. Kind of hidden in an entry side of a mall with a Japanese food court section in a food court, no less. Interesting. Oh jeez, what was this one? Safe fruit. I don't know what safe fruit is. What the heck is safe fruit? What the heck is safe fruit? I don't remember. I I think I got this one last night, and I I I can't. What what the heck is this? Section. Uh, section. Fruit. Say. Section. Ka. Section ka. Okay. I I guess uh I guess we'll just remember that as is. Uh, ikai. First floor. So one's pretty easy to remember here. This one you just kind of have to remember. It's a floor of a building. The they have the kanji for building here specifically,、um, and apparently there's self and two things on top, which you can probably imagine as people instead. But this like floor, building floor, was concerned because it was an em it was empty besides dinner hours, but it got flooded with customers not long after I got in. Maybe people were, maybe people were doing other stuff and.、Uh, During the day, that's probably that's the only thing I can think of. That's kind of how some places are. There, it's like you have a decent、uh, lunch rush and a really heavy dinner, but in between dinner and lunch, not a whole lot. Maybe it, it might not as be as many people unless it's a really, really, really popular place, and also like a small, you know, area. But if it's in a food court, I you, I guess you have more seats. You probably have more seats. So who knows? Who knows? So this was reflection. Reflection was E, I think. No. A, not E A. A. So this is to arrive. Suku to arrive. But also the kanji means to wear. So that's like okay. What what the heck? Aya.、Uh, this one's very complicated. This one's very complicated. I think I know what this one is. Feeling. It's like I I can't make heads or tails about this, but the only reason why I say it's feeling is because I think I made a note about this for myself. It's like these are very complicated feelings, and if I look at it a little bit closer, there's a there's a radical for heart down here, which usually means something with a soul, something with a mind, something with a body. But this is very complicated, complicated feelings. Yeah. They are very complicated. Uh, uh, this one is too open. Too open. Aku. Aku. Uh, 
I guess just keep in mind if you ever see this gate kanji, it usually means some sort of door to something. And then you see that little other smaller gate here, or I guess there's a lantern in this case. Um, just means open. But if you're lucky, they just display the times on the on the door, and it's like okay, so there's the open time, there's a the closed time. You don't have to worry about kanji whatsoever. So this is Joe. No, Joe. 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 Uh, this is orders, I think. Yeah, orders. You just kind of have to memorize what it looks like. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Meredes. Aku. Open. This was the mirror one, and this is not EA. This is A. A mirror. No, A reflection. Haji. Meni. Haji meni. Uh. Something about the beginning. I f keep forgetting which one. You have the kanji for first up up there, which means okay, it's first. I think there's another kanji they use for hajime, as in to begin, but for some reason they use this one specifically. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, this one's this one's a unique one that they just kind of threw in there for vocabulary. It like, it doesn't have any meaning specifically. It's just like, how do you deal with names in Japanese? Because names in Japanese can be very, very weird to, to read. So we have ta for field, shiro for the, the kanji in the middle, which is usually wa for replace or dai as in D-A-I, and then you have Jima for island on, on the end. Jima is very common ending, is a com very common ending for an actual island or some island name. But if you're talking about Hiroshima, you don't call it Hirojima. You could, and I think some people did do that at one point, but it's called Hiroshima. In this case, it's Taro Tarojima, and I have no idea where the heck this is. I didn't even try looking it up, but we could. We could try. This is the this is the pronunciation that threw, throws me off, because when you think Shiro, you you think white, but this is not white. Ta you typically see the pronunciation for that on this one. Like Taro or Yamada? No, not Yamada. Where the heck is Tarojima? I'm gonna look it up really quick. Where the heck is Tarojima? Taro... Tashirojima. Tashirojima. Is... In the middle of freaking nowhere. Okay, let me see if I can do this without... Doxing anything. Okay, so Tashirojima apparently is known as a cat island because we I, we saw a little bit of a cat there. See this? There's several cat islands in Japan, and this is apparently one of them. Literally stray cats everywhere. More stray cats than people apparently. And you see, and you have to take a ferry to get to this place. Now. Yeah, it's it's one of those. It's one of those places. Now, so Tashirojima specifically with this kanji is this place over here. They even have the Miyori Kach Shrine. Where is where exactly is Tashirojima? Well, it is near Aji Island, wherever the heck that is, and also near Oshikabo Bansho Park, wherever the heck that is. Now, where the heck are we? This is in Miyagi Prefecture, which is near Sendai. So if you want to get to this island, you don't go to Sendai specifically, but that is one of your stops. You go from Sendai and somehow make your way... I want to say... Maybe around here in Ishinomaki? If you get to Inshinomaki, you can probably take a ferry to get to um, Tashirojima. 
Now you could probably also go all the way to Oshika, Oshika, Oshika Gobancho Park, but that is further. You're probably going to take a ferry to here rather than drive to here to get to the, the Cat Island. I don't know if most people call it, even call it Tashirojima, but that's, speci that's specifically one of the Cat Islands is if you're thinking about visiting a Cat Island in Japan. I've never been there myself. I have been to a different island. I've been to Rabbit Island, and Rabbit Island's actually fairly interesting, if only because it used to be a poison making facility during the the war and cat island is near hiroshima where hiroshima's around here somewhere and osaki osaki nope okuro nope kure i don't think it was near kure it's definitely oshiba no. Takihara. Mihara. Nope. I don't know. I don't think it's even on this map, to be honest. If it is, I can't find it at the moment. But you have to go to a town somewhere here. Somewhere around here. And take a ferry to, to get there. And then you can see a bunch of basically wild rabbits. Now wild that supposedly some kids from the 80s or something left on the island and they populated and you know that that they're just kind of roaming around. No one really lives in uh, in that place, but they do have a hotel and some ruins and a museum. And if you're just there for the rabbits, that's also perfectly okay. People also go there for the beach, which there is a beach apparently, but yeah. Ashirojima. This is what section? Section. Section, and this is oh crap. So we we got that this was feelings, but I forgot. I don't actually remember what the pronunciation for this. This is so. No, it's probably not so. Kyo. Nope. Kan. Can my feelings? Can I feel? Can can I feel? Can feelings? What is what is used for? Admiration, kanshin, feeling, kanjo, kanjo. I think I've heard that before. Kanji, a different type of kanji for feeling. You ever thought of doing test of courage in any place of Japan? Uh, by test of courage you mean. The like going out at night to like a spooky haunted place. Not really. I never thought about it. I don't think I've I've only been to one maybe sort of spooky haunted place. Uh, I don't know if I showed the picture here, but let me let me get that really quick so that you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but basically, I went to this. I it does. It, I don't think it's abandoned. But I kind of looked abandoned by the time I got there. <laughs> so is it abandoned? Is it really abandoned? I, I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it does kind of look like a, chi a place in Chilla Arts. So let me... Uh, I don't really have any good pictures. So we'll start from the, from the outside going in. But I basically went into a, um, a shrine in the in the middle of a um mountain cliff and the only way you can get here is you have to go up a hill and then down several flights of stairs to get here so you're you're basically on the coast okay so you're basically on the coast when when you get to this spot and the coast more or less sort of looks like this now you probably can't see it too well, but I'll zoom in for you. The shrine is all the way in that little cove here, out in the middle of the water. And you would think there is a, a way to get in, right? You would think there's a way to 
to get in from the from the bottom, but there isn't. You have to go kind of somewhere up here up top. Not all the way to the top, somewhere in the middle. You have to like drive up here around this area uh, to be able to get down. And by it and it's not difficult to do, but driving up there is kind of treacherous because there's no railing. And by the time you and uh, yeah, and walking up there is it takes a couple of hours. No, it takes maybe a good 30 to 45 minutes just to get up there only to go back down. And once you're actually in the shrine, you have to go back up. But basically the entrance is going to look like this. It's like a tiny little parking spot, probably good for four or five cars in there. So it's actually pretty spacious but not really because you have to give room for everyone to to um, move out but the inside of the shrine this is the actual shrine itself and the apparently there's there's some some things that get left here um, every so often and it doesn't look like anything is abandoned so to say I did put my five yen coin in there so that's that's one thing but the rest of the place kind of looks like it might be something from Chilla's art, Chilla Arts. And basically this is the only place I would think you would, I could do a test of courage in, but also considering the, the route, it's a dangerous place to do a test of courage in because you could fall. Not because of ghosts, because you could fall. And th that by itself is kind of dangerous. Kind of dangerous. I mean, look at this uh, Omokuji over here. The Omokuji is, has um, has kanji and what do you call this? Nothing else. And the shrine office, if you can call this a shrine office, is literally this shack over here. I looked inside and there didn't seem to be any chairs. It didn't, there didn't seem to be anything that people would be able to set up shop in it's literally just a shrine in the middle of a mountain and they do this a lot in japan i say they do this a lot they this is the only one i've seen but i wouldn't be surprised if they did this a lot there's another shrine in somewhere a little bit more famous than this at least somewhere in the shimane region i think where if you know what the Fushimi Inari Shrine looks like with all those Tori gates, it's kind of similar with all the Tori gates. However, it's also by the coast. And with Fushimi Inari, you're going up a mountain and going through all the Tori gates. In Shimane, which I haven't been to yet, I still, which I'm planning to do at some point, uh, you have to drive over there because it's kind of far. And there's a bunch of Tori gates leading to the actual shrine and you're basically going downhill. I don't think it's very steep or anything like that, but it's a long, it's a long impressive um, line of Tori gates. But as far as this one, this particular place is concerned, it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's um, old, kind of spooky, but test of courage, unless it was organized, I probably wouldn't do it just be for safety reasons. Not because of ghost reasons. If it's ghost reasons, I can do that elsewhere. But safety reasons, yeah, that's... Um, don't trip in the dark and don't fall into the middle of the ocean. That's probably pr pretty bad. First floor. Ikai. Uh, ta... Tashirojima. Tashirojima. This is reflect or reflection. Okay, so you're gonna see this combination of kanji quite a bit. You have the kanji for gold here squished with other things. If the kanji for gold is by itself, it just means gold. However, if you see this with something else, like, uh, I guess in this case, this is like faulty gold. We have the kanji for fault, so it's faulty gold. So what is that? Tetsu. Tetsu. Iron. Iron apparently is faulty gold or faulty metal. Depending on how you look at it, it might it probably is until you get rid of the impurities. 
Yeah, that's two. Iron. So this is support, I think. There's a cross being supported on a stool, so support. Some, some might call that a branch. This one is section, so ka? Oh, crap. Oh, I think this one's apologize. This, one, this is the one I was remembering earlier. Apologize, I think. Let me see first. Apologize. Yep. Say person attach. Say person doesn't really... Say someone doesn't really mean much of anything. These first two squish thing together. The third one, attach, just kind of muddles it up, but apparently is to apologize to someone. Hajimeni, I think, is... Hajimete is uh, first time. I think Hajimeni is in the beginning. I keep on forgetting. In the beginning. Hajimeni. Uh, support she. She. Sen uh, middle finger. Ha! <laughs> middle finger. Middle yubi. Uh, Naka yubi. Naka yubi. Because you see the, the middle over here, you would you'd be tempted to say chu, but I think chu means a certain type of middle. So in this case, naka as an in inside, not in not as in middle. I think chu would be like middle, naka also means middle, but I guess in this case center, I don't know. It's gonna it's a little confusing. Yeah, yubi yubi. Literally yubi yubi. But this is middle yubi. Oh, it's your middle finger as well as well as your middle toe. Apparently, it means both. Apparently, it means both. Middle finger. Okay, so feeling this was kan, and you said kanjo is the most common usage. I don't think I've heard that so much. Maybe I just haven't listened. Okay, we have another gold here. Oh, we have another gold squish with something else, but this one is with a weird set of kanji. I think this one is, and, I, and I'm not entirely sure, 100 million? It is not 100 million. What is, what is this? Mirror. Okay, let's try to make sense about this. So mirror, you're looking into the mirror. You have the 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 radical for C, and you're standing in front of the mirror. So what 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 were you, what were you standing in front of the gold? What and why are you standing in front of the gold? Apparently, you're using the gold as a mirror. Something like that. Kagami. Yep, it is Kagami. I know the Jap. I know the Japanese. I like, I just don't recognize the kanji, but this is mirror apparently. It's mirror. So Tetsu. Uh, we, we said this is a faulty gold, so this is iron. Isha. Isha is... Okay, I know what this means. Do you know what Isha means? I'll give you a hint. This has something to do with medicine. This first kanji here is... Medicine, medical, in general. Doctor, yes. It means doctor. So, Haisha, Haisha, tooth, do tooth uh, medicine doctor, is a dentist. Isha is a doctor. However, a lot of people just call them sensei, right? So you call doctor sensei, you call your teacher sensei, you call really prominent artist sensei. So it's, it gets a little bit um, confusing when you call everyone sensei, but not by their actual... I guess, profession, right? So I guess it helps also to know what they are rather than just say sensei all the time. But if, I guess if you're addressing them, then sensei, I guess, makes sense. But if you're addressing them by their profession, yep, doctor, isha. Apologize is sha. Apparently you pronounce this sha. And one way to remember that is kansha. Thanks. You probably hear this a lot, especially if you remember that if has anyone ever seen that one anime with the coffin coffin girl? 
She says Kansha a lot. For some reason. But that's the only reason why that sticks to me. Kansha. Kansha. Kansha suru. Thanks. Thanks you. Thank you. Isha, doctor. Why is this wrong? Oh, I'm, that's because I. It's not Isha. This. Oh, this is something else. Oh. Oh no. Okay. I. I did not read. <laughs> I did not read. That was an interesting anime. I don't quite know how I feel about the ending, or the entire thing by itself. But it was it was interesting from an interesting time. Um, Ansatsu, Ansatsu. Well, when we get to it, uh, we'll have to make a guess. Okay, so this one is mirror. We have we saw this earlier. Standing in front of the goal is mirror. Megami. Megami. So we have the kanji for God over here. Kami becomes Gami. Rendaku to Kami. But if you, even if you... I guess if you were starting from zero, you had to like struggle with that a little bit. Also struggling with the fact that woman, Onna, uh, also Jo, becomes Me. Megami. Shin Megami Tensei. Otherwise, if you want to... Shin Megami Tensei, I guess if you want to be literal with it, Death God story, I think is what Tensei is. I'm not... If it was Tensa, if it was uh, something else, it might have been Death God Wars, but uh, Shin Megami Tensei just sounds clearer, I guess, without muddling up the meaning too much. Reincarnation. I'm guessing that has something to do with the original Shin Megami games, but I don't know anything about the original Shin Megami games. I just know that uh, Yahweh is a huge jerk, apparently. And apparently they also killed him off for real in Shin Megami 4. But I don't know anything about the first game, which apparently where the title comes from, so... True Goddess Reincarnation. Yeah, by exactly who is. Who is. SMT, SMT series originated from Megami Tensei. Game adaptation of a novel by the same name. Ah. I see. So that's the SMT lore. That's the SMT lore. I still don't know anything about it. It's also kind of really hard to go back to the original SMT games. I know a lot of people like SMT2, but not a whole lot of people talk about SMT1. Presentation has a lot to do with a, with a lot of things. Actively tweeting in English, really? About what? About what? Hopefully it's not the ramen that they ate that day, though I wouldn't be surprised. One was hell. I mean, SMT series in general seems to be hell. Until you get to maybe three, which gets a little bit better, but also hell in a different way. If unless it, you know, if we're talking about Matador and um, oh, who else was that? Who else was it over there? Matador and Mott. Moth apparently was really, really bad about certain things. He talks about culture and supernatural stuff. Of course, in novels. Does SMT... Wait, wait, Me Megami Tensei, not SMT, right? Megami Tensei has an anime. I did not... How good is the anime? Is it worth watching? Is it worth watching? Okay, so this one is to wear. To where is so Chaku by itself, I guess, is where, but to where is Kiru among the other Kirus? This was also Kiru. Okay, so this one's a bit weird. This means various. So we had Iro Iro before, Iro Iro, but this one is also various, as in Samazuma. Samazuma. So Anshin, what is Anshin? So we have dark and kill. What does dark kill mean? Assassination. 
And if you can't spell assassination, just remember S S N. S S N. And the only reason why I remember that is because there used to be a really, really, I wouldn't say famous, but really memetic uh, video way back in the day, in the early days of the internet, when, especially when Ragnarok Online was a thing. I think it was a furry. I, I think it was a furry that did this. And they were playing as, a, as an assassin. And they were singing a song like S S N S S N assassin. So that's how you spell assassin. You can't spell assassin without S. Uh, Mira Kagami, Kagami. Sama Zama. I don't think I've heard this one, but in particular, but I guess people use this every so often. But I don't know in what context. I know if you're talking about various things in particular, uh, it's iro iro. But if, I guess if you're talking about various people in particular, it's samazama? Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Might need clarification on that. Hello, Chris. Uh, good morning. We're doing a little bit of a Japanese review, also trying to figure out Try to dissect some of the meanings from some of these things. It doesn't make sense out of context, but hey, nothing makes sense when you are learning kanji. You just kind of have to try to make sense out of it. We're kind of like doing a reverse, um, reverse archaeology, but instead of like having to figure out from scratch, like, you know, hieroglyphics, because no one's there to give the pronunciation of hieroglyphics and what they mean. We already know what these means, but we're just trying to make sense out of how it means. I think Samazama has similar usage to Iroiro. Really? Is it more like a flavor type of thing? Like, which one do you want to use today? Okay, so this is the one I missed earlier. Igaku. No, Idai. Idai is medical. Medical college. Or medical school. Do they want medical college? Medical college is fine. Medical school also is good. Med school, med school, okay. Idai. Not Itai. Idai. Uh, Megami goddess. A female god is a goddess. Uh, to wear. Just gonna have to remember this is to wear, though. I still am struggling to see where the wearing part here is. Because you have I, and a leaf, and a sheep, by means where, you're wearing a sheep, I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing about learning kanji. It's, well, if you stop for one day and completely forget about it, it's very easy to forget. It's very easy to forget. So you really have to keep at it every day for a while until, you know, you remember some and you might lose some. And then if once you quote unquote master all of them and then you forget about it for a while, it it's probably going to be hard to, it, you're probably not going to remember it off the bat until you get back into practice again. Forever? I mean, you forget forever? I don't know. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten, Sora? Welcome, by the way. It's, uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to make sense of Sonic Kanji. Maybe it's, it, maybe it's a futile attempt, but for the meantime, it's interesting to figure out, at least for me personally, even if, my, even if it might not make sense to some people, for me, it's interesting to figure out how the heck do they come up with this combination. And a lot of times it makes sense. And there's also a lot of times where it doesn't make sense and it essentially becomes a teji. And a teji is just used for the pronunciation. And it's like, okay, what the heck? Why? <laughs> Why? Also history, but let's not talk about that because no one knows anymore. Uh, crap. What is this one? Prize money. Oh, literally prize money. Okay. Prize money. Uh, cash money. Prize money. Prize cash. Prize money. Prize money. Literally, that's that's what it says. This is the prize, and this is the money. Well, 
yeah G gold aka money prize gold money igaku e no idai idai isha this is the doctor uh ginko now here's something i didn't understand why is the bank ginko rather than kinko why is it kinko thank you krisa thank you uh just fyi to everyone over here i did i i was uh going to get a live 2d however funds are kind of uncertain for the future so I do have the model ready, but I don't have it rigged. So yeah, the Live 2D is still probably going to be a thing in the future. But in the meantime, I kind of like this. It's, it's nice. It's chill. I don't have to contort my face in various ways. Instead, <laughs> I can just ask my I can just ask the artist to like, please make this face for me. Please make this face for me. And he usually is pretty good about it. Uh, but what is this app you're using? I want to try to. It's called Wanikani. So Wanikani, if you want to know more about it, I have a video in the channel about like what is Wanikani. So check that out if you want to know uh, before you try it. There is one thing though that you have to keep in mind. Um, Wanikani is divided into 60 levels and the first three levels are free. After level three, you have to pay. Now you can either pay a subscription or you can pay a flat rate. If you want to play the flat, pay the flat rate though, I would suggest waiting until the end of the year to, to pay it because they do a pretty decent discount. However, if you don't want to wait for that, you can do a subscription, a yearly subscription until the, until that discount comes in. And then when you do the discount, they'll refund you the difference for that subscription. So you did, you would pay a little bit. But you still get refunded for what you didn't use. So it, it, it kind of helps out a little bit also. Um, there the is kind of like a learning program though. So it does take you through the steps slowly. So if you know some already, you can't really skip them. You kind of have to go through the program as, as it is. So just FYI. Heard about it before uh, because they use silver as money rather than gold. Ah, that would make sense. Probably gold wasn't. They they do have a lot of silver mines in Japan. That's what I've that's what I've noticed when I was looking up places to visit in Japan. It's like there's a lot of silver mines, but not a whole lot of gold mines. So I'm guessing gold was more was rarer for sure, but silver was more common. So that, that's probably why they call it ginkgo. Doesn't also mean safe? I don't know, actually. Is does is Ginkgo also safe? I'm not sure. Can't stay any longer, so late. Subclass some more. Okay, thanks for dropping by. Have a good have a good uh rest and uh, good luck with class tomorrow. Alright, let's continue. I still have 19 more vocab to go through and probably a few more. No, actually no, not a few more. 19, just 19. Uh, okay, so we have, the heck are you? We have rotation, uh, to rotate something. Then, no, give me a second here. I haven't seen this in a while. Koro, korogasu? Korogasu? Ko, no, with two, two fall off to rotate. To be rotated? To be rotated? Nope. Kinko. Kinko, really? Kinko around here is a uh, a photocopy place. Like office supplies and stuff like that. To roll something, to turn something over. Okay, I just have to remember that this one in general just means to roll. So it, so I think it was korogasu. Would I have gotten it right if I said korogasu? Korogasu, yes. Koro, 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 to roll. Korogasu, to roll something. To roll something. Ginko. Ten and tensei. 
Yeah, it it can be pronounced as ten, but also it is pronounced roll. When we get to it, we'll do a little bit of a deeper dive on the on the kanji and uh, on that particular kanji in different usages because I think they they'll show it. Okay, so this is a show shokin, I think. No, shokin. I hope it's shokin. Except I don't. Oh, I think it's there might be a U here. Shokin. Yes. You. I keep on forgetting. Okay, is there an easy way to figure out if there is a elong elongated sound with a show, like O U? Because I keep this keeps on tripping me up with with Wani Khan. They're very picky about this. They're very picky about it. You can't just say shokin. You have to say shokin, shokin, shokin. It's like elongated O, elongated U. And then the hidden su in the pronunciations. They do that a lot. Okay, I think I know what this one is. I think this means lodge. Yes, lodge. Um, so you have a roof up here. You have a person. Well, you have a hundred people under a roof. Apparently that means a lodge. And you know what? That makes too much sense. Except a lot of people is uh, quite a bit. Probably, there's probably no good way to remember, right? You just kind of have to, either you know or don't. Uh, this is, oh, this one's a weird one. There's, there's a weird verb. Oko no. Oko no. If you know the, the pronunciation for go, as in iku, to go, and you see this with a u, it doesn't, it, it, I, I wouldn't have thought Okinawa. You, it's just one of those things like you 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 just know. And apparently Okinawa is to carry something out. Or something of the sort. Ma Mawasu. 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 Maru 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 Guru Guru Koro Koro. Something like that. At least this kind of sort of looks like a, a circle, but it's a square. But it's 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 something of the sort. Revolve to carry something out. Uh, Gakumon? Gakumon. It has to be Gakumon, right? What the heck is Gakumon? Homework. Homework? No. What is Gakumon? Schooling, studying, learning, scholarship. Gakumon. I think I got this one last, like I learned this one last night. I just didn't connect. I know it has something to do with school. I And there's a problem here. But the connection doesn't make sense. Yeah, Japanese language is confusing. I, I mean, if you just speak it and you talk and you have a conversation, a lot of these words probably might not come up and that's perfectly fine. But once you get into documentation and stuff like that, when you start in, into getting into official documents, business stuff, a lot of the kanji will show up. And maybe that's the time when you really have to worry about it. Um, in normal conversation, you can have entire conversations with one word between two people for basically the entire day. And there's no problem with that. The thing is, you don't get a whole lot of vocabulary that way. I don't, I don't believe you can get a whole lot of vocabulary that way. You can get a lot of um, speaking experience. You can get a lot of knowing what to say, when to say it, how to say it kind of thing. But vocabulary, Wani Kani is very good with vocabulary, but it doesn't give you grammar. Grammar, you have to figure out yourself or find someone you can converse to to teach you grammar. Yeah, I mean, you do learn some vocabulary, but just by speaking, not a whole lot. And you really don't need a whole lot. Let's be perfectly honest. Even when you're speaking in English, you don't need a whole lot of vocabulary. But if you want to express yourself better, understand things a little bit better, then you need a bigger vocabulary. And having more vocabulary is never a bad thing. It is never a bad thing. So learn as much as you can, make use of it as much as you can. Uh, this is... Crap, what are you? 
I think this is to Togo. Togo. What was it? Sugo. Oh, normally, normally it's Togo, but it's become Su for some reason. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think this is weapon. Yep. Uh, radical for weapon. Nihongo the, the the heart the heart uh button on the side there always makes it difficult to to read, so I have to like paste this in elsewhere. Nihongo Nihongo Muzukashi um Shinja Really? Shinjao. Uh, Deep L, I think, mistranslated this. It said, Japanese, so embarrassing, I'm going to die. No, it means Japanese is difficult, I'm going to die. Muzukashi is... is Muzukashi also mean embarrass, embarrassing? I thought it was Hazukashi. Yeah, I think this is wrong. I, I think that is wrong. How do I... How do I uh, suggest? Difficult. That's difficult. Uh, okay, so this is to roll. Yeah, okay, we just to roll. This is also means to roll, or I guess to revolve, to rotate. I think rotate, rotate, to rotate. It's it's a little bit, they're kind of picky on what it means, but if you know a, a better meaning for this, you can always substitute here with a synonym bit. But to turn something, to rotate something, to spin something, I guess along those lines, to spin, to spin. Ah, this one always catches me off guard, but I think this is like a number prefix. Number prefix. Yeah, ordinal number prefix, ordinal prefix, number. I said number prefix because apparently they don't take that by itself, so I just put that in. Uh, moku, moku hyo. Moku hyo is a goal. So we have I over here and a signpost, supposedly. So if you see the signpost, you see the goal. Is, I think, the, the new ones here. But moku also can be used in table of contents. Me to see. Or I, I no, well, me is to see, that's a different kanji. This is I in general, but you're seeing something. Yeah, the, your I, it's basically I something. Lodge, what the heck is a lodge? You would think it's kan as in ryokan, but it is not. I think this is, uh, what is this one? Suku? No. Lodge is... Kan? No. What was it? Shuku? Shuku? Found in what? Shukubai? Shukudai? Lodge homework? What? Lod lodge topic? What? Homework? Lodging is... Yado. Shinjuku also apparently has lodge in it. I mean, it's kind of big. But Shuku is... It doesn't... Shuku is not there. Okay, they want this pronunciation specifically. Okay, so we just memorize it. Shuku. Shuku. Gakumon is... I, I'm, I'm gonna say scholarship because that's easy to remember. Die, number prefix. Uh, ryo, ko, ryo ko, short ryo, no you, and ko as in to go. So that's a trip. Uh, sugo, sugo, not togo, sugo. Exception to the pronunciation. Gakumon, school, problem, but apparently not homework. Okay, Mars, thanks for dropping by. See you later. Hopefully, we'll be wrapping up here soon.
Uh, Ryoko, this is a trip, as in travels trip kind of thing. Nusha, new to enter, uh, but I think they want it this way, Nusha. No, they do not. Okay, so they do want the extra U there. I keep, I keep forgetting which one needs to be elongated and which one doesn't. Moku Hyo, Moku Hyo. Uh, Sugo is at once convenience or a circumstance. I keep on saying circumstance, which seems to be okay for them. Lodge is Shuku, Shuku. Koro Gasu to roll to rotate to roll. Toru. Uh, Toru is to pass through. To pass through. Oh great. Which one is this one? It's not the it's not ya. It's yo. It's yo, right? It's yo. Yo. Yotsu. Yotsu. Wrong spelling. Yatsu? Wait. Shotomate. Shotomate. When do I use ya? Yatsu. Yoka. I... I hate... I hate eight. Yatsu. Yatsu. Yoka. Okay. I I I I, for, I I never get this right. I never get this right. I'm still stuck with this ever since the very beginning. Okay, well, uh, join a company. Enter a company is apparently joining a company. Nusha. Uh, Chaku Chaku. Chaku Chaku is steadily. Somehow that means steadily. Dore. Which one? Which one? Sama. I didn't realize it was a um a kanji for sama, as in the the honorific sama. Sama. So this is to be helped as in uh, and non, and not to help. To help is taskaru. Oh no, this one is taskaru. This is taskaru. Ta to help. No. Wait, what's the other one? This is to be helped. What's the other one? Taskeru. Oh, taskeru. Taskaru. To, to be helped. Taskaru is to be helped. Taskaru is to help. It's a syllable difference, but it, apparently the direction is... The direction changes depending on how you do it. Uh, toru. Toru. To pass through. No? Utsuru. Utsuru. Oh, I said Doru. Never mind. That was, that's a misspelling in my part. Doru. Sama. Sama as in... Himesama. Himesama. New with an extra U and Sha for company. Enter a company. Join a company. So this is ta su ka T-S-K-R, but instead of a K-E, it's a K-A. So that, that's to be helped. And this is Toru. And this is to be helped. If you remember Taskaru, just remember the K-E versus K-A difference. Chaku, 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 Chaku. Steadily. Okay, so this is Yatsu with an extra su, silent su there in the middle. Eight things, eight things. Okay, we have two little extra reviews here. We're gonna get that knocked out really quick. But I just wanna see, oh yeah, let's just get knocked that out really quick. This won't take us long. So this is Cloud, Kumo, Cloud. Uh. Chujo, 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 Chu as in middle, Jo as in up. Depending on how you say it, it can also be Uwe, but not Uwe in this case, it doesn't make sense. Chuwe, 
Doesn't make. Please tell me it's not Chu Wei. Oh, I spelled Chu wrong. Not Chu Shi. Oh no, this. Oh, this ain't. This is not up. This is stop. Chu Shi. Oh yeah, there's. They have this in the the stop signs over there. Anyway, Cloud is Kumo. Probably hear that every so often. Chu Shi middle stop. It's a suspension. Suspension, but it can also mean cancellation, discontinuation. Um, I guess in this case it'd be kind of like canceling plans, suspension of plans, discontinuation of plans. Probably might even see this on airlines, maybe. Chushi. Should have known. I should have read that better. Sometimes I just don't read things right, and you know, this is how we get mistakes. <laughs> That's how we get these mistakes. But as far as level 13 is concerned, we're making a decent we're making decent progress. Um, getting some of these radicals learned, more kanji are being learned. You now it says six uh, 34 kanji need to be passed to continue. You don't have so I think there's more than 34 here. There might be 36. Let me see. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's 37 kanji here. So you don't have to pass all 37 kanji to progress. They let you go a little under to progress to level 14. And then you just kind of have to keep going that way. So when you get to the next level, in my case, when I get to level 14, there's still going to be a little bit of level 13 that I still have to learn. But that's okay. It just keeps things moving that way. As far as my progress here, Apprentice is going to be your very beginnings. And I still have quite a bit here. Some new stuff, some old stuff that I never got the hang of or because I keep on getting confused. And then your intermediate steps that take a while to show up again. And then Enlighten. Eventually you want to get them burned, which means burn in your memory. But, and once I think once you get to Enlighten, they don't show up again for another three or six months. Meaning, if you know them by then, or you review before that happens, <laughs> aka cheating, maybe, um, then you would probably remember it more. And it's, it's kind of burned in your memory. There, I, I mean, I definitely know some kanji from memory even before learning stuff from Wani Kani, like the number for, like the kanji for time, the kanji for repeat, ik, uh, kai. Those really are the only two. Oh, 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 I guess there's also sun, moon, eye. Those are the few ones that I, that I know off the top of my head. And there's and mountain. Those are pretty easy. And then there's a few that yeah, I may have seen before. I just didn't think about numbers. If you do mahjong, you'll learn your mahjong. You'll, you'll learn your numbers from mahjong pretty easily. Maybe not how they're pronounced, but at least you'll recognize what they are. If you play some Super Robot Wars on the emulators, you'll know you'll know power pretty easily. You'll know repair and fix and all that stuff. Funny how often that actually shows up in those games. Anyway. Okay, so that's it for Japanese learning, kanji learning for today. I hope you... I hope that helped you up a little bit. I know it's not probably the best way to do it, jumping in in here, but I, I at least, you know, hopefully we're learning together when as we're doing this. Uh, not sure when the next one's going to be, whenever I, whenever I can do it. It's not a regular thing on this channel anyway, but it is a regular thing that it happens every so often. I was going to... Think I, I don't know. I, I'm probably not gonna stream later today. I might. I'm not sure if I want to do a second stream today. I might just take it easy and grind a little bit on Grand Blue Relink. And if I do grind in Grand Grand Blue Relink, I may open up a temporary stream, like an unarchived stream, to to do stuff in. We might do that. Not sure. I could, I could just do it by myself. I haven't decided yet. Um. As you may notice on the channel, there is no stream schedule for Wednesday. And I'm not exactly sure 
if I will be streaming that day or not. I mean, I know I've been streaming on Wednesday evenings for the past couple weeks. That's not a guarantee, generally. And I kind of want to get some stuff done this week, so just FYI. May not happen if you're looking if you're looking for that. But if, I, if it does happen, you'll probably find, get a notification two hours from uh, from the start time. When, whenever that might be. Other than that, I'll probably see you again on Friday um, at the latest. Yeah, I'll probably see you again on Friday at the latest uh, when we do Mahjong Nights. And remember, Mahjong Nights is not just about Mahjong. It's about just hanging out and... Talking about random stuff that has happened to you and what has happened to everyone else, basically. So, yeah. See you later, everyone. Have a good rest of your day. If it's night for you, get some rest. I will probably not get rest. I will be doing other stuff. But you get rest. Good night, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.